Hello everyone, well this is another tutorial for Autopolis with the GR3 for Manufacturer's Race. Uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to race this uh, combo on Wednesday, it's such a shame because uh, <laughs> it's such a good round, um, this one and the F50, but anyways I think I'll come back like in 9 days so I'll try to come back stronger than ever. Well let's go with this. Uh, well, in this case, I'm using the Dodge Viper. As you know, you have to shift it like pretty much 80% of the bar in order to have the best performance of it. So it was with the Corvette and Aston Martin, and I can't remember which other car, but that's pretty much the first cars that came to my mind in terms of like high and torque at low RPM. Okay, the first braking zone. We need to see this 100 meter sign and we can also use this like kind of red thing that is in the, um, in, the <laughs> in the left side. And as soon as we pass this thing and the car is already here, you know, yeah, I'm already on brakes as you can see in this camera, like when the car is already there, you have to start braking, you have to do like a uh, kind of uh, regular downshifting, not just uh, <laughs> downshifting like hell, you know, like try to be smooth, release the throttle at, uh, I mean, release the brake at the last moment uh, in order to aim into the apex. At this point, we are just braking, 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 and we are gonna go into second gear. At least with this car, of course. This car is like not the best for this track for sure. Porsche could be like at least half a second quicker than this one. But anyways, I think it's pretty decent. I thought it would be worse, but okay. So at this point, we're aiming into the apex. The car is still is kind of under steering, you know. We're uh, trying to to touch this curve that's on the inside of the apex, and and now the, that I want to aim into the inside, I release the, the brake and whenever you release the brake you have to know that the car will tend to slide a little bit and, and we're kind of doing this tra trail braking technique and okay so this is it oh I, I think I just used third yeah <laughs> so just third and yeah and also very difficult it is that you have to be like very careful oh yeah yeah I use second and third that is a very good technique uh, in case you break like too late and uh, you have to be very progressive with a uh, with the throttle uh, coming out, out of this corner use that curve on the outside we're taking the inside in this point and then following it's like as you can see there's kind of a, uh, a street there oh I messed up sorry <laughs> Um, at the left side, you can see this kind of uh, a street thing or something. Yeah, this is it. So, I'm gonna use this camera. So, soon as we pass this thing, we're gonna start braking, okay? As you can see, the car is already there. Also, already passed that little kind of a street in the, in the middle. And uh, we're gonna start braking. We're gonna uh, downshift into third at the last point, as the last moment, in order to to aim into the apex with it, as like that, exactly like that. I put an early fourth gear in order to have like carry a lot of speed through this corner, and um, the target here is to try to remain ourselves into into the inside of this double apex. Okay, that's kind of the thing that we have to do. And uh, at a certain point, we will have to go flat out, like we'll use full throttle. Yeah, I release. I, I try to don't use too much the brake there. Yeah, full throttle, and then just go into second. And this is a very important corner because if you go out very quickly uh, from this corner, you will earn a lot of time, and I, and I mean a lot of time. So here I'm just. Uh, carrying the car, uh, a little coasting, and now I'm starting to throttle. We have to be very, very progressive, and 
you have to be very careful because like you won't have too much grip on in this car like you will have on a year two so then we go full throttle we can we kind of go outside in order to avoid this sliding coming out of that corner and let's go with this uh, this is a very important corner too so we kind of use this curve and we try to aim into the inside we're gonna down uh, I don't know no, no, no we're not downshifting we're trying to coast a little bit and then go through all this inside curve uh, with the throttle uh, I don't have like exact point to to go flat out but the key in here is try to use like as much as the outside as we can in the previous curve and um, like to to go out smoothly out of this corner because like it's very usual that you will go out to this grass in, in this section so you have to be very very careful with this and it's take a while like for me it actually took a, a couple <laughs> a lot of tries to to manage to do it properly but yeah it, it ended up being very well or well I don't know okay we're now on fifth and as you can see there's like this kind of sign and as soon as we pass this sign this uh, well second to last sign as you can see we're kind of here and we're starting to break at this point and um, we're gonna downshift like uh, smoothly well, it wasn't that smooth but it, I, could, I think I could have break a slightly later in order to to aim into the apex with the releasing the, the brake going into second and kind of carrying more speed through this apex but anyways it was pretty decent because I went uh, I took all this inside which is absolutely necessary and this is very careful we have to stay on throttle here but really really careful because this is kind of a slippery part of the track and we have to use this curve on the outside of course quick shifting another important part we're kind of approaching to this 50 meter sign we have to stay as much as in the, in the left left side as we can as you can see okay so we're approaching to this this corner we're very close to it very close very close not exactly there but like kind of uh, I don't know 10 meters before the sign I'm, I'm not entirely sure maybe even more uh, and we have to downshift immediately and try to use this curve on the right side and try to stay in throttle at this point I, I think it messed a little bit here and could have been slightly faster So now you were st still on fourth, trying to use this curve, of course. Um, don't use the full throttle until you know that you will go um, flat out through this section. And we'll release a little bit there. Okay. We're kind of going straight at this point. And we have to start aiming into this inside curve immediately we have to start in aim to this curve and we have two choices if you want to break really late you can go into second gear or you can just like coast a little bit and go into third that will be pretty useful in terms of race pace but if you want to have hot lap I think it's second gear and yeah break as late as you can it's, it's the best idea so we're using this this curve as you can see this is a very technical section and because we are on the uphill and we're not carrying too much speed the car will tend to to, sl uh, to slide a little bit so we have to be careful okay I'm just staying in third gear and I'm just being smooth on, on the third as you can see I'm still not flat out I'm waiting till I I know that I can do it and it's not yet until this point <laughs> when the car is almost straight and, and I know the, that I have the grip you know it's a matter of doing a lot of tries but um, this is a very difficult section in my opinion was the most difficult part of the track that that I had to learn 
this is flat out of course but the, it's pretty much because of the next corner and the next corner is kind of a blind blind thing so we don't know when to take it so we, we're gonna use this curve I'm releasing as you can see a little bit the the throttle in order to to don't under sear I just go down shift and I'm aiming immediately at this point I'm aiming to this curve before this shadow you have to start aiming to the to the curve and try to go flat out there and as you can see I try to went into the left and now I'm going into the inside I'm gonna down shift in the middle of this corner and then I down shift and now we're gonna stay into the as much as in the inside we can go into the inside uh, as early as you will stay in, in this section it's it's better so soon as we We, we need to do a lot of tries to know when we can go flat out <laughs> uh, It's pretty close to this like cones uh, that you can see there. Uh, I don't use it like a, as a reference But in case you it, it, it works for you. That's kind of the thing that I do Go quickly to fourth. You have to be very careful with that corner because you if you cut you will Have a penalty. So yeah, that's pretty much it yeah, I think it could have been faster, but it was pretty good, at least for the Viper. Yeah, that second gear, you know that when you're, you're doing that second gear, the car will slide a little bit more, and if you upshift quickly, you'll stabilize the car. So as they're staying into the inside, not using too much brake, just turning with a throttle careful trying to go wide a little bit there okay it's there we got try to use this curve a little bit same fourth using the throttle and that could have been better of course now second to last same the inside a loose lost it a little bit there let's go we have to approach this 50 meter sign down shift into fourth I'm on fourth because I want to carry as much speed as possible try to keep the momentum down shift the last moment with third full throttle releasing a little bit I think I could have aimed even earlier to that curve. Downshifting, trying to stay on the inside. Inside. Well, and hopefully this works for you. So, yeah, I wish you good luck in your race. Uh, remember to save your tires. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. So, yeah, I'm sorry and I... <laughs> uh, I really regret for buying the ticket and don't being as, uh, at my home for this round, but yeah, um, we'll be next time. See you guys.